What's up dudes, Nintendo Yoshi here. Um, I haven't had a chance to actually start working on the 20th episode of Wind Waker, but now, uh, since I had most of the time off my hands, um, I finally got my chance to actually kind of fix up all the bad audio. Um, well, my bad voice acting most of all, because kind of crap. But here is the, I guess, long-awaited 20 episode of uh, this, but... But anyway, here it is. Hey everybody, Ninten Yoshi here. Back for more Let's Play Legend of Zelda Whoa, That's Water. In this episode, we rescued our sister. I mean, in the last episode, we rescued our sister. And look who's back. The chicken. Meet the Helmrock King. And this time, it's time to get revenge on this douchebag. Now, what you're going to want to do, you're going to have to run across this, and he's going to frequently hit it with his feet. So it's going to infinitely cause you to jump. Uh, and don't worry about uh, the water. It's not going to matter. But it's time to get revenge on this guy. Uh, we're almost to the top. See? Now let's get to that, and we're going to fly, and yeah, both of ones are going to fall from there. Okay. Um... Whoa. Yeah. Oh, that's not good. Okay, we need to watch out for that guy. He is gonna try and eventually he will try and grab you with that uh talon attack. And he's gonna be there. Kentucky Fried Revenge! And that Boko Bowen's still walking. Yes! Kentucky Fried Revenge of the delicious kind. Now let's go up to this obviously boss boss looking room that obviously doesn't have a boss and head out to see Ganon. Ooh, an epic cutscene. Obviously nothing's going to happen. Closing, everything's oh my god! Now we can fight the Helmrock King in the actual battle form. Now, he's going to fly on the outskirts of this little boss thing ring, I suppose. And then he's going to come down here, and you're going to want to go close to him to get him to hit the ground with his beak. That's where you use the skull hammer. Ow. Uh. We're going to actually want to keep this out. Uh, now, he's going to do this one attack where he grates it with the... Uh, oh, not yet. He will do this one attack where he soars in and grates the ground with his uh, talons. But that's a... Uh, not yet, but I think he might do it now. Now, these spikes, you're going to want to watch out because these are really dangerous spikes. Oh, there's the one where he grates it. And whoa, he just took out that rock like a champ. I never actually knew that happened. Ow. I never actually knew that happened. Uh, but yeah, like I said, you want to watch out for these uh spikes. Now, he's going to come land. Whoa, feathers in my face. Um, come on. Get down here and fight like a man, bird. Birdman. Harvey Birdman. You need to fight like Harvey Birdman. Come on. Now. Oh, crap. Yeah, that's the wind attack. It's going to push you into the spike, so make sure you don't do that. Now, look. I think it's alright if he pushes you in the wall, because it's not going to do anything. So, you're going to want to kind of lean towards those walls so you don't get pushed into the spikes. Now, will you actually land, please? Come on. Oh, come on. Ow, crap. I'm getting spiked. My punch is getting spiked. Okay, come on. Get down here. Get down here. Get the heck down here, you stupid idiot! 
and it's still not broken. I don't know why that's happening. Now, come on. He's gonna do that grading attack again, and we're gonna wanna watch out for that. Oh. It's always kind of confusing to map out what sort of attacks they are, because the animation for it is kind of the same for everyone. But yes! The mask is off! He is a chicken! Now, we could initially attack it with a skull hammer, but using the Master Sword is much more fun. And he looks like freaking Foghorn Leghorn. Okay, here we go! Boom! Boom! I was gonna fly up again. And whoa! I gotta watch out for that. Um, I like how the mask had a uh, little lights. These little lenses for eyes. It made it look much more awesome. Instead, it just looks like a freaking chicken. Walks like one too. Now, duh! Kentucky Fried Revenge! More delicious the second time! Boom! Way to kill a bird with a stone. Instead of killing two birds with one stone, we killed one huge ass bird with a hammer. I say, I still say it's the same thing. I mean, stone, hammer, pretty much the same thing. Now, let's go confront Ganon. This slope is really slopey. There's his door. It's a pretty badass door. It's a really crappy looking balcony thing. I mean, it looks like he freaking glued it together or something. Like, just a bunch of freaking wood. Oh well. It doesn't matter. Yellow light. It's been a while, boy. Indeed it has. Probably 17 episodes to be exact. You have done well to sneak into my fortress and wriggle your way all the way up here. I suppose the least I can do is commend you for your reckless courage. My name is Ganondorf, and I am the master of the Forsaken Fortress. Oh my god, he's hideous! By the way, boy, when you drew that sword of yours out of its pedestal, did you by chance notice how all of the monsters frozen in time down there suddenly began stirring again? Do you understand precisely what that means? I highly doubt you do. Foolish child, while that sword is indeed the blade of evil Spain, at the same time it has long played another role. You see? It is also sort of a key, a most wretched little key that has kept the seal on me and my magic intact. By withdrawing the blade, you have broken that seal. No way. Time to die! You cannot defeat me with a blade that does not sparkle. With the power to repel evil, what you hold is useless. Go back to the world below and tell that to the pathetic fools who made this blade. Its power is gone and its edges are dull. 
Holy crap, it's Tetra. Link, get up. Oh no. Ugh, stop it. Let let me go. You pathetic little sea rat. My Triforce of Power is resonating! Ha! At long last, I found you, Princess Zelda! Wh what What are you talking about? I don't know any... Zelda! Feigning ignorance will gain you nothing. Tell me, if you are not Zelda, then why do you have this fragment of the Triforce? Baby, they just brought out the big guns. You're screwed, Ganon. Well, game's over. Let's go home, guys. Okay, no, it's not. consciousness. Your sister has escaped from the Forsaken Fortress with the pirates. You can relax now. She's safe. Lord Valu, you have arrived not at a moment too soon. We are deeply grateful. I am aware of this. Yet, I thought our first priority should be to separate these two from Ganon's grasp. things later. Now we must return to the world beneath the sea. It's go time! place. Hey, and Ganondorf, what happened to him? <laughs> I like how Link just spasmically gets up. Okay, uh, you must come now to the room where you got the Master Sword. Who is using that stone? So who are you? Link and I are the only ones who can speak through this stone. How dare you use what's not yours? Your name is Tetra, correct? You must come with Link to see me at once. Hmm. Well, you don't sound important. Fine. We're on our way. Just hold your horses, whoever you are. Link, what are you waiting for? You heard the stone. You're supposed to show me how to get to where that voice is. Okay, after that tedious thing of cutscenes and the fact that I can't speak, let's go, and she can't jump. Now 
now he told us to go to where we found the master sword right so we gotta go back down in here are you him are you the one who is speaking through my stone without my permission answer me that stone is an enhanced version of the Gossip Stones long spoken of in the legends of the Hyrulean royal family. I'm the one who made it. <laughs> you made it? The royal family's Gossip Stone. I'm sorry, but I have no idea what you're talking about. Have neither of you heard of the tales? Tales of kingdoms spoken of in the legend of the great hero place where the power of the gods lies hidden. Ooh, suspenseful. This place where the two of you now stand is that kingdom. This is Hyrule. And I am its king. Daphnis no Hansen Hyrule. <laughs> Link, do you not recognize my voice? Indeed, I am the one who guided you here. I am the King of Red Lions. Plot twist! There was no need for me to reveal my true identity to you so long as that blade, the Master Sword, could defeat Ganon. But now, both of you must listen to me. Once, long ago, this land of Hyrule was turned into a world of shadows by Ganon, who sought to obtain the power of the gods for his own evil ends. My power alone could not stop the fiend, and our only choice was to leave the fate of the kingdom in the hands of the gods. When the gods heard our pleas, they chose to seal away not only Ganon, but Hyrule itself, and so, with a torrential downpour of rains from the heavens, our fair kingdom was soon buried beneath the waves, forgotten at the bottom of the ocean. Yet all was not lost, for the gods knew that to seal the people away with the kingdom would be to grant Ganon's wish for destruction of the land. So before the sealing of the kingdom, the gods chose those who would build a new country and commanded them to take refuge on the mountaintops. Those people were your ancestors. Hundreds of years have passed since then. So long as Ganondorf was not revived, Hyrule would remain below, never waking from its slumber. Tetra, come to me. This necklace you wear is part of a sacred treasure called the Triforce of Wisdom, which has been passed down for many ages within the royal family of Hyrule. Your mother passed this down to you and instructed you to treasure it, and to guard it with your life. Am I not correct? Triforce of Wisdom is none other than the sacred power of the gods that we have kept from Ganon's clutches for so many long years. The gods placed upon your ancestors the task of protecting it from evil's grasp. You too must abide by the laws of the past, so the time has come for me to teach you the fate into which you were born the very reason that you live.
my fate? You are the true heir of the royal family of Hyrule, the last link in the bloodline. You are Princess Zelda. Zelda? I'm a princess? You are confused, aren't you? I suppose it's such to be expected. Link, I'm terribly sorry that you've been caught up in these events. But now that it is known that Tetra is indeed Princess Zelda, Ganon will be searching frantically for this child in an attempt to get the power of the gods that she possesses. He will not rest until he has her found. If he succeeds, my ancient kingdom under the sea will be turned into a land of shadow and despair. And so will the world you know above the waves. Link, I need you to lend me your strength in this dark hour. I have a suspicion about what has caused the Master Sword to lose its power. I need for you to come back with me to the lands above the water and return the power to repel evil to the Master Sword. You bet it, Bucky! Zelda. It is far too dangerous for you to join us in this task. Fortunately, the sacred chamber is not yet known to Ganon. It is my wish that you wait here in hiding until we return. <gasps> Holy crap, he teleported! Link, we must go! What just happened? Link. I don't know how to say this. Everything that's happened to you and your poor sister, it's all been my fault. I'm so sorry. <laughs> Link. Be careful. Well, after that series of extremely long cutscenes, I think we should end it here. So in the next episode, how about we head off to, you know, uh, do whatever that King of Red Lions want us to do. The Kang. So, see you guys later.